Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Brentley and I am back and this time I am attempting to play some Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Yes, I am not very good at this game, but I tried. Also, when I got this footage, I wasn't feeling good. If you can tell my voice, I'm still kind of under the weather. And I was kind of medicated, so all you fanboys out there that are going to tell me I suck will tell me something I don't know. Uh, anyway, it's cold as a bitch's tit. Uh, I'm sick of winter. I think it topped out at like 10 or 15 degrees today, and it's only going to be that shitty the rest of the week. Uh, I'm ready for spring. I've burned out of winter. Uh, but you didn't come here to uh, hear me talk about the weather. So I will come here. I will give you what I want to talk about today. Okay. Uh, well, today is Monday, February 23rd. Um, going to uh, Thursday. I'm going with a good friend of mine to uh, see the Book of Mormon. Uh, there's a traveling production in Kansas City. And my buddy uh, goes to New York all the time to see these kind of things. But I guess the Book of Mormon is still so popular that tickets are like two, three hundred bucks or something. And he just doesn't want to pay that for a show that's two or three years old, I guess. So he just waited for the traveling production to come here. And we're going to go. Uh, he knows that unless there's four-letter words, full frontal nudity, or racy content, I'm not really into musicals at all because I'm not gay. I'm not an artsy-fartsy kind of guy, but um, anyway, he thinks I'll like this one. The people uh, that wrote, you know, South Park, Parker, Matt Stone wrote this one. They won a butt-ton of awards when it came out, so I don't know. It'll be fine. It'll be something new. I just hope I can get over this freaking funk I'm in. I'm so sick of winter and being chilly and cold and bleh all the time. I've had enough of winter. Anyway. Uh, let's see. So that's Thursday. Uh, let's see. I have both my vehicles need to get inspected. I got to renew the tag. So that means a fun adventure to the DMV, which the DMV sucks. I don't care what state you're in. It sucks. It's boring. And, you know, I'll have all my own shit, you know, property tax receipts, uh, proof of insurance and all that stuff. Everything I need to renew my tags and I'll be stuck behind some idiot who forgot everything, and it just frustrates the hell out of me. You know, I'm the kind of guy that I prepare, and, and you know, when I show up, I'm good to go. So, uh, I'm not looking forward to that, but I don't have to. Let's see, cars do at the end of March, bikes do at the end of April. So, I'm only making one trip. I'll probably be, well, I might get my bike out in this fucking cold-ass weather. Hell no. So I probably won't do that till like middle of March around my birthday, which my birthday's coming up and I still have no idea what I'm doing. It's looking like I'm probably just going to go down to the bar and get drunk like I always do, but I don't drive no more. Learned that lesson a couple, it'll be three years ago uh, when I got my first and only DUI. Unlike some people who I have talked about, I learned my lesson. I got one DUI and I don't do that shit no more. Anyway. I uh, haven't heard anything from the Butterfly Princess. A uh, mutual friend got a letter from her. And I guess she's uh, trying to stay busy. Uh, taking classes or whatnot. I don't know. Uh, last time I did write the Butterfly Princess, I basically called her out on her bullshit. And uh, knowing this person, she'll never have the guts to at least apologize or admit to what she did was wrong. So I'm pretty sure... She's a lost cause, and unfortunately, word's out that she is incarcerated right now, and a lot of people don't want nothing to do with her. <coughs> I mean, it has nothing to do with me, but I've gotten a bunch of calls lately. <clears throat> hey, I heard so-and-so was in jail. What, what happened? And, you know, I'm going to be honest. Well, three DUIs, that's what happens. Sorry. Here's her address. You can write her. Oh, I heard this, too. Well, there's a little truth. Yeah, yeah I, I'm not going to deny or confirm anything but if someone asks me a point blank question hey what's this i'm going to be brutally honest and tell them what i think yeah i don't sugarcoat shit for nobody and i never will so anyway enough about that gash um my tomato plants are doing so well uh, i started with seeds that i uh, saved from last year and i've got all these little dixie cups full of dirt in my kitchen sink 
and the last count I've got 23 itty bitty tiny little sprouts and I'm figuring if half of those make it until I can plant them in hopefully late March early April I'll be I'll be ahead of the curve uh, it's part of agriculture as you learn that sometimes all not all your plant plants are gonna make it so I'm looking forward to that gardening's a hobby I really enjoy so uh, I'll get on that I'll, maybe in my next video I'll send you some pictures um, I know there's pictures on my Facebook and my Instagram if you guys are there you can check them out there um, God, I'm so sorry I'm really not feeling good today and I'm trying so hard to get through this the best I can so bear with me um, anyway, uh, another thing I want to talk about is the Oscars. Didn't watch them? Don't give a shit. Um, everyone's like, oh, Lady Gaga is so talented. I uh, hate to break it to you folks, but maybe she was singing live last night, but 90% of her live show is her lip syncing. And that's with all the freaking um, pop stars nowadays because they're more interested in their costume changes and their freaking um you know dancing than they are singing so yeah if you you think you're going to vegas and seeing you know spending whatever hundreds of dollars to see britney spears and you think she's actually live you're full of shit it's memorex trust me uh they do not they just lip sync and if you don't believe me just look at anybody's youtube channel that's been to one of their shows it's very obvious to see their voice is not synced up with the with the music I just hate pop music. I always have, always will. Anyway, I mean, I put it right up there with hair metal as relevance nowadays. Anyway, um, so that's that. Uh, let's see, is there any other awards coming up? I don't think so. I don't know. My Red Wings are doing awesome. Uh, it looks like I'm not going to make it to a game this year, maybe next year. I do have to see the Red Wings play at the Joe Louis Arena before they tear the damn thing down. And build the, I think it's called the District Detroit. It's going to be their new rank. I think they're supposed to start on that pretty soon. Um, you know, it's been a childhood dream of mine. And yeah, as you all know, I've been promised many times we're going to go. And was, again, more butterfly princess bullshit. But um, I don't know, I'm saving up money and hopefully I can make it. I don't even complain. I don't even care if they win. I just want to go. Uh, so that's on my mind. Uh, I got, God, I'm going to be 40 years old. In like three and a half weeks. Shit, I'm getting old. And yeah, maybe I'm too old for video games. But what you kids out there nowadays don't realize is people my age grew up with the Atari 2600, the ColecoVision, the Intellivision, Nintendo, Pac Man, arcades where you had to have a pocket full of quarters. And by the way, I can't fly this fucking thing worth a shit. So don't give me any trouble. It's harder to fly than, it, than you think. And I don't really know the controls because I haven't played through the campaign. So cut me some slack. But, um, you know, so, yeah, there's a lot of people I know my age that have the PS4s and the Xbox Ones and whatnot because we have disposable income. So it's not that weird that us old men like video games because it kind of reminds us of our youth. But, you know, enough about that. Um, but all in all, I'm doing okay. I'm hanging in there the best I can. I appreciate each and every one that watches my videos and comments and likes them. Uh, every one of you new subs out there, I appreciate it. I've gotten a couple, and look at this. I got my first ever game-ending kill right there. I was getting ready to kill that guy, so you check me out. Looky. Again, I'm not a Call of Duty guy. I'm a Battlefield guy. I'll get some Battlefield footage for you. See, there's me, Brentley238173.